friends, happy Friday. We are going into our first full weekend of our new year Better You Accountability Group. So I felt like it would be appropriate for me to come on and talk about the weekend. Weekends can be scary for those of us that are maybe just starting our health and fitness journey or getting back on track with our health and fitness journey. It's even challenging for those of us that maybe have been on our journey for a while. And so I just kind of wanted to address a couple things to first of all, help you stay consistent over the weekend. And second of all, to help you not beat yourself up if you're not perfect. So first things first, I want you to do your best to stay on track this weekend. Just because it's the weekend doesn't mean that all of your health and fitness goals should be thrown out the window and that you should forget everything that you have learned and began to implement throughout the course of this past first week of our group. Press play, get your workout done, get movement in, drink a lot of water, um, try to stay on track as best as you can. If you go out to eat with your family and you really want a splurge meal or a cheat meal, then do it. This whole experience is about figuring out how to create a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling lifestyle. It is not feasible for you to never have another slice of pizza or another bite of chips and queso or another beer or margarita for the rest of your life. It's just not feasible. Now, depending on your goals with this group, will kind of dictate what this looks like for you. If you made a commitment to yourself to stay 100% on track and really push yourself for the first 21 days and then kind of figure out balance after that, then skip the splurge. There are some, some things that you can do to um, help prevent a splurge meal. Drink a lot of water, have your shake before you go to a restaurant so that you're full, stay away from the appetizer, stick to a lean protein and some veggies, things like that. Um, you can specifically ask restaurants to not cook your meat or vegetables in any butter or oil. So there are things that you can do to stay on track. I'm not I'm not trying to entice you with a splurge meal or a cheat meal, but so oftentimes I hear ladies um, kind of, maybe you go off track over the weekend and then you beat yourself up so much that you just forget the rest of the group because you already messed up, so there's just no sense in even trying. And that's not the case, it shouldn't be that way. If building in one cheat meal or one splurge meal or a treat or something you know, once a week is a part of how you want to make this a lifestyle, then go for it, do it. And the most important part about it is to not beat yourself up about it. You make the decision as to if that fits your goals with this group, commit to the decision, go through with it, and then move on. But as long as you're getting your workout in and as long as you're staying truly committed to what your intentions are with this group, you have no reason to feel guilt or shame for what happens. And I know that I'm talking about the weekend specifically because this is our first weekend of this specific group, but this is any any day of the week. If you, um, you know, if you go out to eat and you have every intention of staying on track, but maybe you had a piece of bread or you had a couple of chips and queso or whatever, so what? So what? Um, like I said, this journey is about balance. It's about finding a new a new way to live life healthier your fittest and most in shape, but to still have that balance component that allows you to not feel like you're on a restricted diet or fitness regimen. Our workouts are done in the comfort of your own home, 30-ish minutes a day. I mean, it doesn't get much more simple than that. The portion fix meal plan is incredibly flexible. So many delicious recipes that you have access to on the Team Beachbody blog, on our website, um, on Fixate Cooking Show on Beachbody On Demand. You can really create delicious recipes that feel like you're splurging when you're really not. And then Shakeology is just kind of a great kind of, you know, like sweet treat component to our portion fix meal plan. So the purpose of these programs is to make this transition not necessarily easy for you, but one of a true lifestyle change that you never feel restricted because you shouldn't. You should love the way that you feel when you fuel your body with nutritious foods and when you get movement in every day. And as you progress throughout the course of this group and future groups, you will begin to crave that feeling of feeling your best and staying on track will become a little bit easier. But I am here to tell you to not beat yourself up. Think about your goals with this group if that includes a splurge meal or a treat or a cheat meal or whatever you want to call it, then do it and own it. 
and be proud of it and share it here in the group and then get your workout done and get back on track. That's what this is all about. So I love you ladies. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Continue to log here in the group. Um, share what you're doing this weekend. Be sure to check out those game day recipes on Fixate for the Super Bowl on Sunday and get your workout done every single day because if nothing else, that will at least make you feel a little bit better. So love you ladies. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend and I'll check back in soon.